Hi guys and welcome back to Vlogmas. Today we are doing a gift guide on mostly millennials and uh, things that people my age would want. I'm gonna go straight into it because I have a lot of gifts to cover and I don't want to make it super long. I hope that you guys get some good um, ideas from this video. So starting with number one, I would obviously, I'm going to preach about this, a small business gift card or anything from a small business or a local business. Number two, I have a blender, a food processor or a mixer or like a juicer. If the person likes cooking, they like any cooking utensil, for example, a Bluetooth uh, thermometer for cooking, a wallet, uh, any university apparel. I think that's super trendy right now too. It could be like a hoodie from their favorite university. It could be sweatpants crewnecks, a beanie, anything from like the either the university they currently attend or just a university that they like. For example, if they like football team of a certain university or the basketball team of a certain university, just university apparel I think is like trendy and cute. It could be vintage. Like if it's for a girl and it's vintage, like you're set. Or if it's not university apparel, I would say their favorite sport team apparel, like any hoodie or a hat or anything with their favorite sports team on it, ow, I think would be cool. If they have a record player, get them like one of the favorite records, make sure they don't already have it, or get them a record player if you know that they've been wanting to get a record player. Book a massage or nails. I think getting a massage is so nice, like so nice, and it's such a cool gift because they're kind of expensive, so gifting that to someone. Uh, a small trendy purse, you know like the small little purses, they've been super trendy, I'll insert a picture. But I think you can thrift a lot of those if you don't want to spend that much. And if you don't, there's like some really cheap options at like Walmart and Target because they're really trendy right now. Vintage anything. Go thrifting for that person. Find them some university apparel. Find them a sports team apparel. Find them anything that's cute, that's thrifted. I, you can't really go wrong with that. If your friend is into like zodiac signs and crystals and stuff like that, I think getting them a zodiac candle or just a regular good smelling candle. Never go wrong with candles, seriously. Like, everyone loves candles. You can get them like their favorite YouTuber merch. So if you know that they have like a favorite YouTuber and they have merch, I think getting that for them is cool. <sighs> Sorry, I had to go get my glasses because I can't see anything and I just, I never wear them anymore and it's really bad because it's getting worse. So I need to get my contacts. Alright, uh, we left off at their favorite either YouTuber merch or makeup, like, you know, if they're, like, into Jeffree Star or something and they want to get their makeup, I think getting that would be cool. Jewelry, you can always get them jewelry. Leave it to me to mix metals, you know, gold and silver, but don't get them this combination. Uh, chunky chains are, like, super trendy and you can literally get them anywhere and they're really cute, so, um, if you know they're into jewelry, I would get them jewelry. Um, if they're a plant person, I would get them a plant. You can never go wrong with that. That's a really cute gift to get. I'd actually really like to get a plant. I just don't think I'd be good at taking care of it. Um, their favorite wine. You can gift them their favorite wine with like a wine bottle opener. That's really cute. Or anything like wine related. There's so many cute little wine gifts if they're a wine person. You can get them personalized wine cups or personalized bottle bottle openers, anything personalized I think is a good gift. Along with the jewelry, you can get it if they, if you know that they already have a lot of jewelry and they don't really have a place to put it, you can get them a jewelry keeper and you, there's like tons of them on Amazon, different like sizes. I would definitely go with that if you know that they're really into their jewelry and they don't have anywhere to keep it. Uh, and along with the jewelry keeper, I would also do a makeup store, like if you know they're really into makeup and they don't really have anywhere to keep it, I would give them a, a makeup store. I don't even know if that's the call, but I think so. Coffee cups. Coffee cups and coffee mugs. I think you can never, honestly, one can never have too many coffee mugs or coffee cups. They're so, I just, I love coffee cups. I don't even drink coffee. I drink tea, but I don't even drink it that much, and I would still love to get a mug. I love mugs. I buy a mug every time I travel internationally because I can't help myself. If they're not into coffee, you can get them a Yeti. There's a Yeti for everything or a Hydro Flask for everything. I think with most gifts, you just need to, like, get to know the person so like hunting stuff for a hunter you can get them like night vision goggles you can get them binoculars like nighttime binoculars you can get them socks like there's like wool socks that hunters usually wear because it's really cold you can get them ammunition but i don't i don't know how you would know what type or where do they i don't know how to, that works but if you do you could get them that you can get them a personal trainer or like a workout program either online or like classes. If there's like a spinning place in your area or like a solid core in your area or a pure bar in your area, you can get them that. 
one you can get them AirPods, AirPod cases, iPhone chargers. You can never go wrong with that. People always seem to lose them. I know I do. A portable iPhone charger or a portable iPhone case. Those are always really cool. Just make sure you get the right iPhone uh, picked out. Uh, you can get them a personalized iPhone case. Um, I get my cases usually from Casetify. If you know they already have like a good case, you can always get them a pop socket if you know that they like pop sockets. There's different types of pop sockets and they're actually really cool. There's like a pop socket that has a lip balm in it, like a Burt's Bees. There's a pop socket that has a mirror if you know they're like always in need of a mirror. There's pop socket wallets. There's pop socket everything. And if you know they need somewhere to put their phone in their car with a pop socket, you can get them a pop socket holder. They actually work really well. Back with the coffee drinkers, if you know they're a coffee drinker, you can get them an espresso machine. I know some people would really like that. Uh, you can get them a blanket. You can get them a weighted blanket. Uh, I heard they're really good for people with anxiety. If you know they have animals, you can get them something for their animal, like their pet. You can get them something for their cat, their dog, like a collar, a bed, something like a pillow with their like dog's face on it, anything related to their dog. If you know they're totally obsessed with their dog, you can get them like socks with their dog's like face on them. You can get them a pillow of their dog. You can get them so many things about their like animals or cats. Sorry if you're a cat lover. I don't really like cats. Uh, car scented air vents, which is something that I love. There's a lot of different places you can pick from. There's tons of them everywhere. Like you can get some at Target, you can get some at Walmart, but I think there's some like really, really cute ones at Bath and Body Works. Those are my personal favorite because they're cute. You can get them something for their career. So say you know that they are a teacher, you can get them a planner, you can get them like something that's gonna help them in their classroom. You can get them a, a laminator, I think that's what it's called where teachers laminate everything because that way they can reuse it and get them a, getting them like a laminator or something like that that's really good if they're a teacher you can get them that if they're in the oil field for example you can get them like gloves um safety stuff for their car things like that if they work at a bank you can get them you can get them like a really good quality pen engraved with their like their name on it if like they're if they work in an office if they're like in IT, like me, you can get them something like for their desk, like a picture frame with your favorite moments. You can get them a personalized calendar or in my case, a multi-use screwdriver. I think that's what they're called. But in my desk, I used to have this screwdriver. It actually wasn't mine, but I would steal it from my coworker all the time. It was a screwdriver because, you know, we need to open our computers. We need to constantly be fixing things. And that screwdriver had it was like a multi-use one and it doesn't have to be for someone that's specifically in IT like me. It could be for anyone really. Like somebody that's into tools or they have the toolbox. There's like this screw that you like literally pull out, turn, and then there's like a different selection. Kind of like those multicolor pens we used to have when we were kids. That was like red, um, blue, green, and black. And you would push down on the one you need. It's kind of like that but it's a, like a tool. Speaking of tools, you can get them like a pocket knife, you can get them an engraved pocket knife, you can get them an engraved keychain, anything personalized I think is really cool. Uh, socks, you can always get them socks, honestly, fuzzy socks, regular socks, all socks, no show socks, any sock. We love socks. Maybe, but you have to be careful because some people don't actually like socks, but I know like a lot of my friends and I, I would like to get socks. If you don't have money to spend on them, a good gift that comes from the heart that you could do is you can make them a list of podcasts that you think they'd be interested in. That's always cool. You can make them a playlist. You can make them, I mean, that's more sentimental and for the person that you really, really know and you don't have money. Or just if you have money and you want to get them something and you also want to get them a playlist, I think making them a playlist or making them a podcast or like list of things that they would like to listen to or like list of books with a little description, I think that's actually really cool. And it saves a lot of time for the person that actually wants to listen to podcasts or wants to start, um, reading books, if you make them a list and you personalize it to them, I think that's such a, like a personable gift. You can get them a subscription to like Spotify or Apple Music or anything that you know that they want a subscription to. Like you can get them a subscription to an editing app. Uh, you can get them merch from their favorite show. And this is different from like YouTubers. If you know they're into Naruto or Avatar or, or Friends or Rick and Morty or The Office, you can get a merch from there. This is for the more creative mind, a personalized puzzle. If you know they like to do puzzles, you can actually go online and put a picture of whatever you want on that puzzle. So if you have a picture of both of you that you really like and you know that they like puzzles, you can actually put that in a puzzle and have them do it. It's actually really fun. You can get them like a crochet maker. I want one, that's why I put it in here because I think it'd be cool to learn how to crochet. You can either make them a candle or you can get them a candle maker. 
or like the ingredients, not ingredients, the stuff to make a candle, to make their own candle. Uh, that'd be cool. Like I said, if they're into crystals, you can get them anything crystal related. Hairstyling products. If they love their hair and they're obsessed with their hair, you can get them hairstyling products. You can get them a hair mask, a hair oil. My favorite is actually from Kiehl's. I talked about it in my wish list video. There are really good hair masks out there that are also at Walmart. If you're not sure what they like to put in their hair and you don't really want to venture off that far, you can get them a hair tool. Like if you know they really curl their hair and like their curling iron is like coming to an end or it's really bad or they don't use one and they need one, you can get them a hair tool. You can also get them a silk pillowcase. Um, they've been really popular lately. They're supposed to be really good for your skin and your hair. So a silk pillowcase would be cool. Something that's a little bit more expensive but um, would be cool it would be a camera for their apartment or their house. Like a ring. I think it's called ring. Isn't it? Like where they ring the bell and it's like their camera. I don't know. And I don't even know how expensive it is. But we're millennials so we might want that. Another thing you get them is a map of their favorite city. Like a map print of their favorite city, of their favorite country, their favorite place. Um, I'll insert a picture of one. They're really cute. If you know that someone is into traveling, you can get them packing cubes. I have packing cubes. I use them every time I go anywhere. It just helps keep everything organized. You can get them a travel wallet, um, an FRID approved uh, travel wallet. Sticking with the travelers, you can get them a scratch map of the places they've been to. You can get them an I was here journal. It's an unconventional journal of like places that you've been and you can like I'll link it down below. It's actually cool. You can get them a city map glass. It's a glass and it has your favorite city around it. You can get them a hammock if you know that they're like outdoorsy. You can get them an oil diffuser. You can get them oils for their diffuser. If they're into cameras, you can get them an Instax Fuji film camera. They're really trendy. Oh, you can get them Lululemon leggings if you know you're, they're into working out. Um, for some reason, we're kind of obsessed with like really expensive things. I personally don't need them to be Lululemon. I don't think they're all that hot. I personally own uh, Lululemons and they're really not that different from my American Eagle leggings. So, I don't know. You can get them Levi, Levi jeans or Nike sweatpants that are scrunched at the bottom. They're super soft. They're like the joggers. Those are trendy. Those I think people would like. You just have to get the right size. You can get them a ring light if you know that they're into like videos or selfies. You can get them a coloring distressor book. Uh, we're very stressed nowadays, so that would be kind of cool. You can get them graphic tees, um, anything vintage like I said, people love. You can get them a corsicle for white claws or trulies. I have one. I've used it once because I don't really drink that. But um, it's cool that one time that I used it. It was cool. My hand wasn't cold. <laughs> uh, this is more for like... Uh, guys, but you can get them like aftershave, a pocket knife, a good cologne, and for a girl, you can get them a good perfume. Um, I listed some of my favorites in my wish list, so if you guys want to take a look at that, it's under the description. Um, also, a good razor, a razor blades. If they have a good razor and they don't have blades anymore, you can get them like the blades that come with that razor, or you can get them like a good razor. What ails? Alright, I think we finished my list for like millennials, Gen Zers. I have another list coming up for like younger kids. That is all for today. It's just another vlog, another gift guide. Thank you for watching if you made it this far. I love you. You're doing great. I'm so happy that you're watching Vlogmas with me and I hope that you're excited for Christmas. And I hope that you feel some holiday cheer. If you have watched every single one of my videos up to today, you are a champ. And thank you so much because it's been really fun making these. Stressful, but fun. And I really enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoy watching them. I will be posting a couple more gift guides and a lot of other vlogs, baking cookies and decorating them, all sorts of goodies. So make sure you subscribe. <laughs> I'm so tired. But I love you all and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, happy holidays. <laughs>